Hello, and thank you for joining me today on my video blog. This is Stephen Pilkington with the Path Home Team, powered by the Bogar Pilkington Group. So as all of you know, we are rapidly approaching the home selling season. So one of the biggest questions and, and uh, the most often received questions that we get is what can I do to my house to get the biggest bang for my buck when I go to sell? So to answer that, there's three things that we typically focus on. Number one is the curb appeal and the initial walking in experience of your property. Um, what people see with that is how is the paint on the outside of your house? And for that matter, how's the paint on the inside of your house? Most of the time for around $3,000 or so, you can have a professional painter come, touch up that paint on the outside, touch up the paint on the inside, and it really gives it that new home feel. You know, the other thing that I'm sure you've heard along with that is that curb appeal. How do the plants look? You know, in Colorado right now, the seasons are changing, things are blooming. What can you do that can give you that most, the, the best appeal that you, that you can get on there? Um, and sometimes that just means going to Lowe's or Home Depot and getting some fresh flowers. Finally, when it comes to paint, believe it or not, paint colors can actually make a big difference in how much money you get back on your home. They've done a study and they found out that homes that were yellow on average sell for about $3,500 less than homes that are the most popular appealing colors, which for your neighborhood, that could be grays or browns or who knows, you need to see with your specific neighborhood. Yet those homes sell for about $6,000 more than, than the average home. So there's a $9,500 difference just by picking the right paint color. Okay, so now that you've looked at the outside, what's the number two thing you can do? That's the improvements on the inside. And what we're seeing is the biggest bang for your buck, especially if you have a home that's over 20 years old, is focusing on those bathrooms and doing a medium grade remodel. And you may ask, what's a medium grade? It means you're not doing the basic cheapest thing you can find, yet you're also not going as high end as you can find. And what the studies have shown is that when you're replacing tile and counters and light fixtures and you do it on a medium level, you're getting about $1.71 per dollar you spend. So that means that for even numbers, if you spent $100, you'd get $171 back um, for making those improvements. However, if you went too high end, um, and again, this is neighborhood specific, if you live in a luxury neighborhood, this may not apply, yet if you go too high end, for every dollar you spend, you're getting 87 cents back. So do not over improve the property, no matter what you do, because you're putting money into someone else's pocket. Okay, so that brings us to our third item. If you're in a home, especially homes that are over 20 years old, it's likely that you have original windows in the property. If that's the case, they've discovered through research that if you replace those windows, and again, not the highest end window, just a good quality window, that you're gonna get a great bang for your buck return on it. And it's typically about 150% return. So again, what that means for every $100 spent, you're gonna get about $150 back because um, buyers are really looking to make sure the quality of those windows are great and that it fits the energy standards because everyone wants to be green these days. So that wraps up three things that you can do to go ahead and get the best bang for your buck on the money you're gonna to spend to improve your house before listing it. Thank you for joining me today on my video blog. This is Stephen Pilkington with the Path Home Team powered by the Bogart Pilkington Group. I hope you have a fantastic day. Please leave any comments or suggestions on future topics down below. Look forward to talking to you soon.